In today's video, we're going to fix a common problem with the Discovery 2. The climate control, the LED bulbs, seem to blow quite regularly. So as you can see here, my LCD is, is lit, so I think there's three bulbs in there, but these buttons all the way here should be lit as well. So we're going to replace these with LED bulbs. So, I've just uh, taken the stereo out using stereo removal tools. Put them up there. Pull the head unit out. Okay. Put that back there. Just put my hand on here, just so I can push it out. Push the clip in. There you go, it's gone. One side done, and get to the other side. Easier of a screwdriver that side. Can't feel it. It's a bit further in this side. So once it's out, there's three connectors to use. Undo, okay, here's one on my bench. So this is what we need to remove. If we have a look in the back. These are the two clips. And if you look here, you can see you just push it in like that. And then the unit is free. And the same on the other side. Push it in and then So the unit comes out. Easy. So once you have the unit out, there's just two screws to remove on the on the rear of the unit. Okay, two Phillips screws. Let's take them out. And then the unit just folds out like that. And there are your bulbs. These three bulbs are for the main LCD. Okay, then we have one in the middle there for these bottom switches. And then two black ones, one on the side for the uh, hot and cold switch. So these are my replacement LED bulbs. Um, these are T4.7, which is what these three are. These are actually uh, like 501s, T5. But apparently these will fit in. So just remember LED bulbs only go in one way with regard to the power. So you might have to. Uh, just a check. And they're right. So just replacing this third one. Yeah. Okay. See the difference? These ones from Land Rover are about five pound each. These are paid uh, six pound for six. So it's a lot cheaper and a lot brighter. So just put this. OK. 
Okay. And this will be nice and easy. You can see. It can actually come out of the holder. But you should just be able to use these. Fingers crossed, there you go. Right, <clears throat> I'm not going to screw it back together yet. I will just lightly just all fall apart. Okay, so I've just plugged it back in. So let's have a look, see what we got. Okay, so we have left switch. These are all lit, I'm not sure if you can see. You can see they are nice and blue. Um, that one on the right is not working. So let's check the LED, which you have to have the power to turn the lights off. The LED is with the ignition. Ah, there you go, it's lit. Okay, so. And we turn the lights on. So these are all lit. That's lit. All these buttons are lit. Just this one's not. So I just need to turn the LED round on that one. Off camera, I just um, switch the LED round 90 degrees on this one here. So let's see if that works. Bingo. So all of these switches. Now it's up. All I need to do is push it back in. Like. There you go, the finished article.